Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Oh, I'm mad. Because I I don't want Winnie to get fired, man. I want to see the lipstick. Frack. Those shoes scare me. It feels like somebody's standing there. This one? I can't see anything in there. His room's right here. That's his room, bro. But yeah, so there's lipstick I found that you guys probably didn't see. I can't see anything in there. Isn't his room right here, y'all? Next to your room. I can't see anything in there. <gasps> it doesn't have to be him. It could be literally anyone else in here i just thought about that but yeah um i found lipstick in her room and it was a red color and she had a lot of lipstick colors. she had a lot of lipstick colors so what i'm thinking is she's having an affair old boy is stalking her she he just happens to have pieces of evidence from her because you know how she's stalking him and he's she's probably leaving trash behind like the movie ticket it had her little symbols or whatever I don't think they're working together, but I think she's having an affair with somebody in this hotel. Oh, boy caught wind of it. And he could possibly be blackmailing her. That's my theory. And I'm thinking she's having an affair with Jacquez. So, we gotta find where Jacquez is at. So, we need to look at all these vents. Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. They're doing the deed. Her and Bernard are having a thing? Next to your room. Whose room is here? There's so much going on. I can't open these without a screwdriver. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a janitor's closet. Y'all. Hold on, 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 hold on. We gotta look at our who is Bernard or who is this um janitor? Let's So Bernard is the big boss. He's obviously having an affair with Linda. Usually about Linda's strong feeling about Wendy. Bernard loves Wendy, or more accurately loves how much he the guest loves her. While Linda thinks she's up to no good. I made the unfortunate discovery that room five away is where Bernard and Linda go to be intimate. The inevitable double-edged sword of Snoopy means that sometimes you hear things you never wanted to. I don't think I'll ever be able to look at 508 the same. That is nasty. It gets longer as you find stuff out. Bend over backwards for Linda, but finding the hotel's most popular way is just because she demands it? I'm not lying. That is crazy. Like, she must be getting that bed. I'm just saying, because... Beth? Uh, from Bernard, but okay. We like Beth. Okay. Um... Janitor. Um. Eugene. It cannot be no Eugene, but it also could be Bernard. Bernard's room is right there. All right, let's get out of here though. I called Beth and threw out the idea that she's being, I hope I'm wrong, okay? Secret message, okay. All right, guys. Well, this one, I know, I don't know what part this is, but this is where we're going to end it for the next part. Please stay tuned to Kaitober 31 Days of Terror with a sprinkle of chaos so you see what is in this vent right here, period.
Okay, so now we are trying to find a screwdriver. Wendy and Jacquez. Hmm. I've never seen two people more suited for each other. I hope they work things out. They need so, to. I think it's Jacquez. Okay, so last time we saw that old girl. I just watched the video, but honestly, we are trying to open this vent. And um, we're trying to get this note that's in the vent. Um, we're trying to figure out who she's been corresponding with. And we went into this janitor's room. It's not the janitor because, first of all, he's way too old and I don't think it's him. But when I walked in here, I saw Wendy and Jacquez. So, Wendy and Jacquez, they spend their time in here. And he works for the hotel so he won't have his own room. Y'all see what I'm getting at? So, this is probably where him and her have a rendezvous at. And look at this. So Linda wrote to Eugene. Highest priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Mmm, yep. I really think they're having rendezvous in here. Wendy and Jacquez, and the, he called off the engagement because he's having an affair with one of the hotel guests. I think I solved it. You're welcome. But we need a screwdriver, so let's hurry and get that real quick. Uh, toolbox. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? This, we need this. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. Wait, you already said that, girl. Sophie, you don't need these. Be careful, it's a slippery slope towards becoming a hoarder. All right, girl, all right. There has to be something else in here. Eugene's a this. pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Screwdriver. Oh, what a screw that would be. Oh, Eugene. I had no idea. Oh, so he knows somebody who has a mental disorder. William Weston. All right. I don't know what this is, but it'll be in evidence, hopefully. Sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. Bernard is a jerk. Can we just all say that in unison? Bernard is a jerk. Huh. Oh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Mm. This There's so much to unpack here, bro. What are y'all theories so far? Comment down below what your theory is, is going on. Um, yeah, screwdriver, I see paint tools. Blocking the stairs seems dangerous. What if the elevator breaks down again? <sighs> oh, not Bernard coming out after his rendezvous with his little employee, Linda. I need to see what Linda looked like. You nasty dog, you. <clears throat> It's, uh, Miss Bellevent, isn't it? Don't worry about me. Oh, um, right. Oh, right. Ain't nobody care about. I got my own stuff to worry You're about. You're who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Ooh, we can't lie. Fuck. No, let's say no. I need a screwdriver. I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? What for? Um, loose vent. 
Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> I'm still getting a screwdriver. You care less. But I'm happy we didn't lie. I feel like he would have said I just saw you putting something in your cart, so he would have caught me in that lie. Well, don't you look oh. mischievous. <gasps> hey, Bean. If you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking for a screwdriver for the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. Eugene? What the hell? You'd better go and take a look. I'll Why stand you by the elevator oh. and make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, thanks. Okay. I'll be quick. Let's hurry up. We gotta be fast with it. We don't gotta clean nothing, so we're good. It was wet. Let's close that first. Blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Aha! Let's get you to that vent. What's this? Opposing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Leave that there. But who left? What the heck is going on? I think we're good. Oh, let's see this letter he's typing up right now. This does not look like a nice brotherly check-in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. I have worked relentlessly these past few years to return the clarity to his former glory. Okay, so him and his brother are having to fall out. Surely your break is over by now. No, it's not. I came by here not too long ago and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to- It's my time of the month. I- uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> That's how you get him. So, you know how it is. I have to go more often and- Oh, sometimes I stain the furniture and, and don't get me started on all the- That's enough details. I- She should have been off the way. What were you doing in my office? Oh, I'm going to say I, I wasn't. Someone left. I hate lying. Guys, don't lie. But they're not giving me options. I would have said, what do you mean I'm just standing here in my anger room? Like, I would have been like, I'm not in your room. Frack! I wasn't. I was. Frack. I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Huh. Must have been Eugene. Well, don't you have work to do? Oh! Yes, sir. Then he already got get on this to the screwdriver. Uh, Mr. Drake has asked to see you again. God, he just can't get enough of me, can he? Just indulge him. Apologize one more time for Friday's mishap. Do whatever needs to be done. We cannot afford to lose such loyal guests. Okay, fine. Where is the freak is Eugene? That was a close one. Yeah, I had a few cold I'm sweats. I'm stressed. <laughs> but at least I found what I was looking for. Good. Well, if you need me, I'll be attending to the whims and worries of our entitled client. Guests. Oh. Don't be a stranger. Period. Y'all, this is a mess. Alright. Time to see what secrets that vent is holding. Oh, it's cold, you cold hearted. Oh, he does not like his brother, y'all. <laughs> Alright, listen, E got what I came for. Layer the beast. We don't really need to know all this because we already know, don't we? Raymond is the brother before Bernard ran. Okay, we don't need that stuff right now. I just don't like having that red thing on the bottom. But yeah, let's go ahead and go. This is so crazy. 
Ugh. This girl got mess. That's all I want to say. She went from snooping on one dude and that dude snooping on somebody else. Like, it's an endless cycle of snooping. Alright, uh, alright, let's go to the vent now. Cause that's what I'm waiting for. What in the vent? Hey, what in the vent? We need oh, to open. I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. Let's not let's not talk about that, okay? Oh, I like that. All right, do we have to decode this one or she gonna decode it for us? Okay, I think she'll decode it for us. the symbols we need don't we so two is a right, i'm gonna skip ahead for you guys all right so i got it all i guess the other ones because i'm not about to snoop around because i already know um i think it's a c Michael to discuss Michael will be sleeping meet me tonight in my room Michael will be sleeping we need to discuss our plan That's exciting. sorry guys I guess I love detective and like snooping games that's why I wish horror games and like detective games would go into one the hotel reception be desk, the... Beth speaking it's me oh hello bean Anything new to report? I uh, found another secret message. I found another message written in secret code. What does it say? Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Michael? A plan for what? Who's that? It can't another be an affair. Right? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Hmm. Let me check the M.H. If somebody walks in, I don't like I don't like this angle. There's she a Michael the staying in room 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone no. with... No. Oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. Hmm. Could Marcella... Yes? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, what's next? I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Well, I could call the room to make sure no one's there. Good idea. Hang on. Y'all, 507, there's a little boy named Michael. I'm dumb. You've got the all clear, Bean. Head on over. Thanks, Beth. I'll call you back. Okay, y'all. So remember that tore up note, the very first one we found, the very first one we put together. I'm dumb. I don't know why I thought she, the, this lady here. I don't know why I thought that Marcella wrote it. Marcella didn't write it. She received it, and that's why she ripped it up. So somebody in, um, five oh seven, um, which is Beaumont. Anne Beaumont. I'm thinking Anne Beaumont is sending her notes, sending notes to Marcella, the one, the room that we're currently in. And Michael is her son. That's why, he, that's why she said Michael will be sleeping. Come over so we can discuss our plan. Um, yeah. So she's leaving notes for Marcella. And I just looked at Anne and said she's a divorcee. I don't know how that information got out the first time, but since then, Linda's made sure we wouldn't forget it. So she's a divorcee. They're having problems in their marriage. And now Marcella, she wants a divorce. So she is talking to Beaumont to basically find out what to do in order to get this divorce. That's what I'm thinking. 
Hopefully that's the right theory because I already got it wrong. Because I'm just dumb, that's why. And I got the master key. I'm just going through everybody's room. An old boy requested to be in this room. Don't know why, but he did. We still have yet to open um, old girl's suitcase, which I really want to get into. Well, let's snoop. See if she has any letters. So a husband can abuse his wife and just get away with it? And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong? Ugh. That's actually insane. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. I can't read that. That's definitely in Spanish. I promise. It's not you. Okay, he's calling her. He's being a kid. This is how so kids need to be. you eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, we gotta read that later. It's a car. This is what kids need to be doing, bro. They need to be playing with like toys, man. Oh, they're only on their electronics. And I feel so bad. Cause I like I'm I was lucky to be poor <laughs> and not be able to afford like electronics or TV. So I was either in a book or I'm always I was always playing with something. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. Dang it. Aha! Keys are Snoop's best friend. They really are. Snoop has some games really stand the test of time. What game I used is to that? play this with mom all the time. I've always wanted to play that ever since seeing it on SpongeBob. <laughs> when Patrick and SpongeBob was playing it. What's this? Adam or, Adam or Eve? Forbidden love? Okay, this is Adam or Eve, y'all. The description of this book is, should Rose stay in a marriage that no longer makes her happy or seek refuge in the arms of the woman who truly understands her? What if Marcella and Beaumont are an unfair? Y'all, y'all should, I am dumbfounded. Mr. Beaumont, he's an abusive husband. We don't care because we don't like abusive husbands over here, so I can care less about him. Um, let's see. Hey. Clues. Right, I have met with Luis and he has asked me to give you the enclosed. I think you should reiterate that some of your actually accusations such as a wife abuse. Yeah, no. Um, Michael's letter, little from Michael to his father. I'm sorry, but mom asked me to tell you the name of our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We have two little beds, a radio, and even a television. Mom let me build a fort, and the maid brought us extra blankets. She's really nice. The hotel is nice, too, but I miss home. Yeah, sorry, bro, but your dad was beating me, so yeah, we're not doing that. I'm a message from M, as well as child's drawings. I hope you're well inspired. The circumstances, we're on the train for two days now. Uh, yeah, when we arrive, please refrain from talking to me until we can figure out a safe way to see each other. Say hello to Michael for me. Oh, wow. So they were scheduled to arrive here on Valentine's Day. I booked room 509. It's a marital suite. When we refrain, please refrain from talking to me. Mm, so this is her writing. Okay. Uh, dear Anne, you were right. I miss the snow already. It's so hot right now in Texas. Nine days of eating. We don't need that right now. Adam or Eve. Yeah. I think that's crazy. But let's, um, yeah. Here are our thoughts. Let's get to the bottom of this and find out what links these rooms together. They're having an affair. So I was kind of right. I'm telling you, I was kind of right on both of my theories. Ah, that's so sweet. I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. I thought she wasn't their maid. I mean, 
I don't know what that meant. <laughs> I don't speak El Espanol. Locked. The key has to be around here somewhere. Uh, did we not just pick up a key? Oh, <laughs> let me go pick it up. Where's that? There we go. I was to say, we literally just picked up a key. Uh, I'll need another key to unlock this. Mm. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? Where? Is it in old girl's room? The key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room 505? Say less. I'm in there like somewhere. 505. We just walking in here like we just assuming he not in here. It's not that key. It's not that. 505. We saw it. Would it be here? Clean the trash can. Inspect. Where would that? Is it this? I don't right. think I'll need this again. I thought someone was coming. I almost freaked the freak out. Actually, look for the actual key, y'all. So it's with Marcella. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. Hey, Beth. Bean, I've been meaning to speak with you. Oh, about what? Well, a little birdie told me Mr. Morgan and Mr. Cruz had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who's your little birdie? Jacques. Oh, me. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get involved. And listen to this. It sounds like I was on the right track. Because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. What? Wanna guess what it Affair? is? Affair? 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 Bingo. Hmm. Did Jack hear anything else? From what he told me, it seemed like Mr. Cruz was accusing Mr. Morgan of having an affair with his wife. Wouldn't have expected yeah. Mrs. Cruz to fall for a man like Morgan, but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. Maybe, but... That doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. Oh, and the other one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. This is Wait, messy. so Mrs. <laughs> Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that are both needed to open a mysterious chest. Yeah, yeah. there's definitely something going on here. I'm trying to tell y'all. I think they're having an affair. I'm gonna say yeah, the answer's but the answers lie. probably lie in that chest, and I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, yeah. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, hold on. I may have an idea. Get me a candle and some plaster, and maybe I can do something about that pesky chest. How? I'll tell you later. Just find me those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I manage to leave my post. All right. Thank you for not giving up. Come on, you know I wouldn't let you down. Okay, now what we gotta do? Plaster and candles. Well, half the hotel's under renovation. I should be able to find plaster somewhere around here. So now I gotta find plaster. They got me going everywhere, y'all. Woo, child. I'm gonna think it's back here with that maintenance guy, though. Didn't I see a plaster bag near the stairs earlier? Stairs. Yep, that's where I was going. Um. Great. This takes care of half of this little scavenger hunt. As for the candles, doesn't Rebecca keep some in her locker downstairs? Mm-hmm. When you put that mask key back, though. 
Actually, no, we gotta keep that. We gotta keep it just in case they might be like, go to room 600 or something. Something stupid. Whew! This is intense, y'all. Alright, now we go to Rebecca's locker. Hold on. I got something. I got something for you guys. I got something. Remember, Linda is putting up posters saying say no to divorce. Remember, uh, let me let me pull the characters up. <laughs> Cause y'all let me cook. Let me cook. Alright, so the room we were in with the couple, the one who sleep on the couch, Marcella Cruz and Hector Cruz. Linda is our co-worker. She's putting up posters saying say no to divorce. So she doesn't believe in divorce. Yet, she gets a note on her door, scooping a lipstick, saying, basically, you're a hypocritical B-word. And then leaves a little note or whatever. Hypocritical B-word and lipstick. In Marcella Cruz's room, we saw a whole bunch of lipstick. And remember, we said, oh, that color, like, it's a nice color. It looks just like the color that is on her door. And I'm thinking since Marcella wants to get a divorce because I think she's having an affair with Anne Beaumont, she's mad because she keeps putting up all these say no divorce signs. So she's like, you know what? Hypocritical B word. Boom. <laughs> Clap it up. So go ahead and subscribe, whoever's still here. Clap it up. Clap it the freak up because I'm that guy. Candles, candles, candles. I think Rebecca keeps a stash of them, but. Where? Wow. I got a motive. Oh, here's the lockers. Anthony, Jacquez. I want to be nosy, but let's not be nosy on our coworkers, not just yet. Oh, Bernard. I can't believe you came to see something like that. He's worked with us for years. He's what do Eugene do? Is there, is there anything you might have? Bro, I don't know. I didn't know we had to open the door. I'm just getting everybody fired. Eugene left. Let me just get my stuff. Candles. So you do have a stash of candles, but where is it? Where is it? Let's see. She has a stash somewhere. The kitchen's out of power again. I can barely see a thing. Bernard wants us to continue working, but I'm not sure. Chubby on my fingers for that blow hard. Did you start hoarding candles since the last powder hour power outage? I remember you saying you never want to be caught in the dark basement again. So it's in the basement. We just got old boy fire, bro. I suck. But I'm like, bro, they wouldn't they just fire him anyway to free? I don't know. This made me mad. It's locked. As usual. Alright, let's try to see if we can get to the basement through the elevator. Which I hope we can. Sophie, you're forgetting what you came here for. The candles. Better try to find them before Beth gets here. It's in the basement, bro. Oh, isn't this the basement? <laughs> I'm stupid. Alright. I want to put them out in the open because then anybody can grab it. Uh, no, we're not spending money on no coffee. No, I don't see candles there. 
No. Whoever keeps stealing my lunch, I want my Tupperware back. That's why. Who said that? Susan. Sound like something Susan would say. But no, for real. Don't be eating my lunch, though. What is that? Why is there a devil? Be like Sandra. Oh. Can we lately get that? No? Hmm. They look like they are not having very much fun at their job. Maybe Bobby took some candles from Rebecca already. Oh, Bobby. So let's get Bobby's thing. Oh, he got a Tupperware too. No candles, but this looks like the laundry room. He eating people lunches. Bro, I'm snitching. <laughs> I'm snitching. Snitching, snitching. Oh, right. My keys are still in the break room. I have a master key. Doesn't that open every door? There's one thing after another, bro. Oh, dang. There we go. Bingo. Alright, so got my camera. There you here. are. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, when I was little, we had padlocks on many of the farm's sheds. My dad would always lose the keys, so one day he made a mold of them using wax and plaster. I was mm, thinking of I heard about that. Are you sure it's gonna work? Absolutely not. But hey, I guess we won't know until we try. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this. Okay, to start, we need to pour the wax 